Over the past few years, Patrick Reed has established himself as one of golf's most distinctive players. A Masters champion and Ryder Cup star, known to some as Captain America, he certainly made his mark on the sport. But his recent achievements are a far cry from his days of Monday qualifying into PGA Tour events, a gruelling test of character. Golf tournaments, I feel like they're, they're a marathon. It's four long days. Well, all of a sudden you go to a Monday qualifier, it's a sprint. You got 18 holes, go make a bunch of birdies and, you know, and make no bogeys is what you have to do. And you got one, to, one day to go out and, and beat the field. And, you know, with how successful we were during the Mondays, what it just kind of did was not only did it give me confidence that, hey, if you need a low round, you're capable of going and doing it, but also it helped, helped me later on realizing that, okay, if a round's not going the way I want to, and I have, say, six or seven holes left, all right, well, we got to go get to a number. So, you know, let's put the, you know, put the foot on the gas, let's go. Reed made his major breakthrough at Augusta National last year, and this part of the season is often crucial for those gunning for the green jacket. However, while the rest of the golfing world is steadily turning its eyes to the Masters, it's not the sole focus for the defending champion. It's important. You know, I want to, of course, have a, have, a good, have a chance of winning at Augusta, but really, I don't look at the whole beginning part of the season as getting ready for Augusta. I, I look at every event as an opportunity to go out and get better, have an have opportunity to go and win a golf tournament. And so, uh, so for me, I, you know, I'm just trying to keep on improving, keep on getting the game where I want it to be and, uh, you know, just make sure everything's where, where I want it at the beginning of every week to, uh, to have a chance to win the golf tournaments. Winning majors is an addictive business, and the always confident American clearly isn't satisfied with being a one-hit wonder. He fancies his chances at all four this year. Well, I'd love to win the next one I play, which would be Augusta, so that'd be the next one I'd like to win. But, um, you know, really, uh, I feel like all of them suit my game. It's just one of those things that you, you gotta be in the right form and gotta be, you know, in the right mind mindset going into the week and, and make sure you're hitting the ball well. But uh, you know, I've never been to Northern Ireland before, and I've always wanted to go. And, you know, having the opportunity to go this year at the, at the British would be, uh, is going to be amazing. I can't wait. I've heard a lot of great things about it. And uh, I love the setup this year, having, you know, Pebble at one of them, having Beth Page and having, at Augusta, having one at Augusta, because you know, I, I won a playoff event at uh, Beth Page and, and winning at Augusta. And I've always seemed like I've played some solid golf at Pebble. So, uh, you know, that three, those three setups right there, I'm really looking forward to this year. Reed is a solid performer on the greens. But from a technical point of view, as a player who naturally draws the ball, he's had to work hard with coach Kevin Kirk to add a reliable fade to his game. He made full use of it under pressure at Augusta last year and now feels he can pose a threat just about anywhere. It's important. Um... You can have a perfect game plan and have it mentally, but if you're not hitting the ball well, not executing golf shots, that game plan and mentally just kind of goes out the window. So, uh, you know, you know, being a drawer of the golf ball, it's always going to be a little harder to fade. And being if you're a fader, it's always a little harder to hit the draw. So, you know, I've worked really hard this off season to kind of perfect hitting the ball both ways, because there's so many golf courses nowadays that that are set up for both shots. You know, it's not just a one shot. You can't just hit one shot on every hole. You have to actually be able to work it both ways. So with having your coach able to, uh, you know, get you geared in and, and, and getting myself in the right mindset, not pushing too hard and just going out and playing golf. And uh, it, it seemed to really work. 